Our top story is the sexual assault investigation involving three Oregon basketball players. We have three reports and we start with Chris Brooklier who has been following the story and joins us today on the set. Chris, what do you have for us today? Thanks, Yuri. A lot has transpired since news was first made public that Damian Dotson, Dominic Artis, and D Brandon Austin were being investigated on forcible rape allegations. The University of Oregon is in an uproar over the forcible rape investigation of three Oregon basketball players, Damian Dotson, Dominic Artis, and Brandon Austin. The Eugene police investigated the alleged sexual assault of a female student by the three players on March 8th hours after the Ducks had defeated the number three Arizona Wildcats. No charges have been filed against the players as the district attorney's office determined there wasn't enough evidence to successfully prosecute the case. This is the timeline of the events according to the Eugene Police Investigation Report. Around midnight on the morning of March 9th, a woman says she was at a party at basketball player Jonathan Lloyd's house when she was taken into a bathroom by Dotson and Austin and sexually assaulted. After the woman exited the bathroom, she says she headed for the door but was stopped by artists and taken back into the bathroom where she was sexually assaulted again by the three men. The woman then went into a taxi with the three players back to Dotson and Artis' apartment, where she says she was sexually assaulted again by all three players at the same time. All parties in the matter agreed the sex stopped when the alleged victim started crying. The woman stayed the night in Artis' room where she stated she at least had oral sex with him before returning to her dorm room. Later in the day, the woman visited Oregon basketball player Joseph Young's apartment, where she had consensual sex with him. The Eugene Police Department started its investigation March 13th after the alleged victim's father called the University of Oregon Police Department. Brandon Austin's lawyer, Laura Fine Morrow, made the same claim. Later in recorded phone calls with the woman, both Dotson and Artis told her they were sorry, and Dotson stated he would not want what happened to her to happen to his mother or sister. According to the police report, when asked if she wanted to pursue criminal charges, the woman said she just wanted the players to get a slap on the wrist, and she didn't want to ruin their lives. Lane County District Attorney Alex Gardner says he decided to not file charges because he thinks there is insufficient evidence available to prove the allegations beyond a reasonable doubt. As emotional and horrific and terrible as this all sounds, and wrong as it all sounds, proving the criminal elements would not be possible given this evidence. It just simply wouldn't be possible. Kelsey Alston, a junior at the University of Oregon, was at the party where the alleged incident occurred. From what she saw, she says she understands the DA's decision. From what the DA issued as a statement and from what I gathered, there were multiple discrepancies and holes in the story that she told. I asked her, I said, do you want to stay? Like, do you want to stay? And she's like, yeah. And that's at that point when I told her friends, you know, if she wants to stay, you need to let her stay. On Wednesday, the day after the DA announced his decision, the university administration revealed that it had known of the sexual assault investigation since March 9th. The administration has come under fire for its perceived lack of response to the allegations and for allowing the accused players to participate in postseason basketball games. Dotson and Artis played two games in the Pac-12 tournament, which occurred three days after the alleged incident, and two games in the NCAA tournament, which occurred 12 days after the alleged incident. Tobin Klinger, the senior director of public affairs communication at Oregon issued a statement saying, quote, prior to the NCAA tournament, the Eugene Police Department told the university that if it took investigative or administrative action, it would jeopardize the integrity of the criminal investigation and therefore requested that the university not take any action at that time. Due to federal privacy laws, the university cannot provide further details regarding its actions at this time. In Eugene, for Oregon News, I'm Chris Proclear. Now, Yuri and Galen, within the last hour, there's been a press conference between Rob Mullins, who's the athletic director at Oregon, and the university's president, Michael Godfredson. They stated that the players have been kicked off the team, but they have not been expelled from school. Another question has been whether Dana Altman, the University of Oregon's men's basketball head coach, would be kicked off or fired as the coach, but Mullen stated that he will, in fact, be the coach next year at Oregon.